What is going on guys? My name is Ron back again from Ron Reviews here with another episode of Reaction to Kaguya-sama Love It Was War Ultra Romantic Episode 9. Hard to believe that we're only... We only have three more episodes, including this one, until it's done. Well, for the season. Um, the show is too popular enough to not get a fourth season. I'm, I am I will bet my left pinky on it. Not really, but I'll, I'll bet something. I'll bet, I'll bet my pride, even though I don't have any. But, last episode was good. We got a Shawshank Redemption. Re <laughs> no, in all honesty, um... Kaguya fully admitted that she was in love with the president, even though we've known since he you knows season one. Um, but she is the first one. She, she actually openly admitted it to Hayasaka, best girl. Now, I'm, fig I'm just trying to figure out how much more they're going to be not really necessarily padding, but how they're going to play out these episodes. I know some people were not too happy, for some reason, with the whole manga panels being introduced last episode. I thought it was great, actually. Um, don't know why a lot of people were mad. I thought it was a great artistic choice to do that. But, eh, it is what it is. But, episode 9, Spring of First Year. I actually don't know what that refers to. And then Kaguya's Culture Festival. And Yui Shigami's Cultural Festival. Culture Festival. So, it looks like, and I think I remember reading it too, it's been a minute again, that we're going to be getting different perspectives from every character. Well, most, uh, for some of the characters. Not every character, of course. But, without further ado, let's jump in to episode 9 of the third season of Kaguya Samuya. Love is War starting in 3, 2, 1, let's jam. Don't mind my stuffy nose, by the way. Yep. I'm sorry, I like Amelia. Are we not going to get an opening? <laughs> oh, her bow. We're not. I don't think we are. Yes, okay. Flashback. It took three ep seasons to see some backstory, which is pretty damn good. You know, I really don't remember much about the previous student council president. It's also weird seeing, you know, his shirt open.
It's so weird seeing the side of him. Loving these shots, too. Also, his voice, his voice actor sounds very familiar. I'm pretty sure if I look at him up, I'll know exactly what the roles he's in. Mm. Even, like, everything about him is just so different from the present that we know him now. I don't remember any of this, by the way. Oh man, seeing this and seeing how he becomes from present Miyuki even to parts of the manga like way later on, you really get to see how much he's changed from where he is right here. You know, really, just those eye divots really just changes him. Just, you know, just two little lines really just changes, like, how he looks. It's kind of funny. Daft Punk? It's the only thing I can think of with those helmets. <laughs>
<laughs> Some fucking gotchas thing right here. <laughs> Are we gonna get that? Oh, hold on. Oh, sorry, it's just the music that they're playing. Hiding in place night. I know, the song that they're playing in the background, I know some people are probably not, not going to be able to hear. <laughs> right? She is really good at her job, but no. The song that they're playing is just a rendition of Vogue. I think I remember seeing that in second season. She wants to see, she wants to show off a little bit to him. Oh, uh, they're doing drip pour coffee. <laughs> They're all taking pictures of her, like... <laughs> Is it- are these the same guys from, um... Is that the same guy from the ramen? Yeah, I'm almost positive that's the ramen one. Yep, okay. It's been a minute. I don't remember the guy on the left too much. Are they both? I, okay, hold on. I, wasn't he like a s sir? No, wasn't he like a chef of one? <laughs> What's up with the bad green screen cut-ins? That is... <laughs> what? I've never seen that in an anime. <laughs> Put your money where your mouth is. Oh.
Her pride is on the line. Black tea? Yep. I love I I love his over the top like dramatization of his face. Are we gonna go Shoko Kick into some his clothes are just gonna explode off of him? <laughs> oh no now they're all gonna be like give me I need all of it <laughs> then why would you spill <laughs> 16 bucks and it's the same tea hold on let's see please don't just brush it off Daddy from the East! <laughs> Four ramen kings. Okay, I, I just- I don't remember the- Soran, Soran. Jeez. Being a little bit, uh, stalkerish there. Very stalkerish. <laughs> yeah, because this is all happening back where, what we just saw. This is all happening around the same time frame, I believe. Love all of them. <laughs> I liked Maki. Maki is like this. I do like Maki. Maki's a cool girl. She has her moments where. She's like, she's just a fun side character, if you know what I mean. You know, even though we've never had this, at least in the States, I don't know how it is in other parts of the States, like Mexico or Canada, um, where we never experience this, I kind of would l like to, like the whole, like, culture festival thing, that sounds so cool. Would have made me probably enjoy school a lot more. I hated school. Mm. 
<laughs> I'm right. <laughs> oh no. Artwork. Yeah, Kashiwagi. Or Nagisa, sorry. She's a character. <laughs> Capiton. I uh, it was basically a Capiton, yeah. What is yo? That's actually great art style. That's a great art style to convey that. <laughs> okay, when I say that I would like a whole cultural festival, that's true. I would not want a haunted house. I tend to get scared really easily, and my first response is not to go, E. No, my first response is, uh, oh shit, and punch you in the face. So it probably wouldn't work well with me. <laughs> or be like me and throw them hands. <laughs> No. I I feel for her. Does she have annoying tendencies? Yes, but again, she's <laughs> she's meant to be this over the top with things. <laughs> she has she has good tendencies. Mix them with the craziness and the everyone's all fucking stalking. Like, I understand why Ishigami likes her. I knew a lot of the same stereotypes of guys, and also girls. That's the same stereotype like that stereotype. It makes a lot of sense. I mean, from personal experience, I mean, everyone, of course. There's a death beam! <laughs> Blair Witch Project? Oh, and this weird how it's only in one ear? That looked like Blair Witch Project. What is up with this show and doing references? <laughs> uh. 
Oh man. Okay, so yeah, what is up with every single episode lately? Make it a reference to something. I'm ninety nine point nine percent sure that was a reference to Blair Witch Project. Never seen it, but that's a very famous scene where that girl is just in front with a light and she's just crying. Oh. I had a smile on almost this entire episode. And yeah, so there's no ending. <laughs> okay. Rona. Anyway, that was a very fun episode. It's really leaning in for the big event. But slowly building up and not even talking about it. But you know it's coming. That's how you know it's good. They, you know that there's a build up and they're not really talking about it. Just a very, very brief little mention. And then the rest is all other stuff that's happening. But it's still, you can feel that build up the entire time. It's great. Very good episode. Thoroughly looking forward to the next. And yeah, I know when I first saw that this episode aired, it had like 57, I think it was, awards. And this was like a couple hours ago. Uh, awards on Reddit. And I was like, oh, some good stuff's gonna happen. I can already tell episode 12 going to be in the couple hundreds guaranteed and the manga readers will probably be holding off on their credit on their awards for that episode if i had awards on reddit i would give it for that episode too. if it's going to go how i'm thinking could happen earlier who knows but anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoy this episode reaction of kaguya sama love us war let me know what you guys thought in the uh, in the comment section below but as always i will see you guys tomorrow bright and early at least for me uh for spy x family which i'm thoroughly looking forward to because things and when I say things i do not like trying to hint at anything just it's spy x family i'm looking forward to it because it's spy x family but yeah, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.